thing. And for about half an hour now, he's been doing his thing. Call him DJ Wubete. Good afternoon, GH. My name is JQ. You're locked on to Joy Night Now for M7 FM. This is Showbiz A to Z. And it's going to be a great afternoon because we've got great people coming through. It's going to be a great show today. Let me start by giving a big shout out to the good Lord Almighty for granting us traveling mercies and taking care of us all throughout the week. If you're listening to me, you can just, just give God a wave. Just give God a wave. Yeah, hallelujah to his name. Many are those that went to bed last night, didn't see the light of day today. Many are those that went to bed telling, bed telling sweet stories, telling sweet tales to their families and friends. But today, there's a lot of wailing. So if you're up, if you're awake, if you're breathing, if you've eaten, if you've seen the light of day today, just give Jazz some praise. It's very, very, very important. And if you can give God praise, then don't forget to listen to your favorite Joy FM programs and show podcast on myjoinline.com slash live radio, Joy 99.7 FM. That's radio for the discerning listener. And uh, you know the, the, the gentleman who's been playing music for about half an hour now? Yeah, the man they call DJ Wo Betsy. The one and only. One of the finest DJs in Ghana. What am I saying? The finest DJ in Ghana at the moment. <laughs> Yes, he's been nominated for the DJ of the Year category at this year's edition of the Three Music Awards. So we're going to be on standby, wait for voting instructions so we can push DJ Wobeti to go bring that one home. DJ Wobeti on the ones and twos. DJ, you got to drop me one gospel track. Let's give praise and honor to the good Lord Almighty. I'm in the spirit. Can I get an amen? Yeah, it's very important. I was at a funeral earlier today. Yeah, all the way in Krobo, Dumase. And um, as they lowered the casket into the soil, a number of things run through my mind. We are going to go there someday. Question is, are we ready? Do we know when it's going to be? And if, if, it, if it gets to our turn, are people going to cry because they're truly, truly, really going to miss us? Or are they going to cry because they are going to miss the need of us would people cry if you should go today does it matter which is more important the name and legacy that you leave behind or the number of tears that are shared at your burial all in all we got to live in love spend time on what's important focus on what's necessary you see you can never have enough time to be happy you would never have enough time to be able to share all the laughter. One day you're here, next minute you're gone. So if you can laugh, laugh today. Don't waste time worrying about yesterday and worrying about the number of things that can make you make you just unhappy and sad. Give glory to God. Love. Give while you can. And share laughter with the people who matter. Most importantly, pay attention to family. There would never be anything that is important as family. So hold the ones who love you dearly, the ones that spend every second of every day with you, respect, honor, and cherish them, and show them love when you must. Because you know what, at the end of the day, we're all work in progress.
So this afternoon, I'm going to start my show with one lad who's going to take the GH rap industry by surprise. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you saw him on TV3 Mentor, then you saw him at MTN Hitmaker, and yesterday he dropped a banger of a single. Awal Mohammed Muba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's important. It's important. I, I, my I want to welcome to the studios of Joy 99.7 FM. You, How are you. you doing, my I'm brother? I'm fine, I'm fine. Yourself? You're good? I'm good. I'm yeah, good. yeah, 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 yeah. I hear yesterday you caught some waves in GH. <laughs> <laughs> you know, ma. Huh? You know, my thing. So you dropped your first official single? Yes, yeah, sure, sure. This is the first one from a while, or there have been other ones? There, there, there have been singles here and there. So what makes this after, one special? Because after Hitmaker, mm-hmm. um, people... The fans out there haven't heard from a while, so yeah, I think yeah. after hit make this my first banger out there. And it's called what? It's called Yenda. Somebody saw it and said Yenda. Is it Yenda or Yenda? Yenda. But the spelling is the same. Y E N D A. So which one are you referring to? I'm yenda referring to or yenda. yenda? We're not sleeping. We're not sleeping. Yes. Why aren't we sleeping? Why should we stay awake? The doctors say we need at least eight hours of sleep. <laughs> life is short. Just enjoy life, man. <laughs> life is short. You know, just have fun. Life really yes, is yes, short. Yes, and life, give thanks to God. Life truly yes, is short. Very short. Yeah, so what we know, the last time we saw a while was on Hitmaker. Prior to that, we saw a while, some small boy who loved Sarkotia so much. His every little line, his demeanor, his everything on TV3 Mentor was just like Sark. And yes. then all of a sudden, he disappeared. Where did you disappear to? What happened to that transitional period between the Awal on TV3 Mentor and this fully developed Awal who probably has five girlfriends? <laughs> I had to go back to school, you know. Okay. Uh, school is very important. So it is, after it is. talented kids, um, I was in GHS one then. Yeah. So I had to finish GHS and proceed to senior high school. So within that period, I was in school. Okay. So I completed 2015, came back and recording and, you know, putting some songs and singles out there. And I hear you are Jesus in um, where? Accra Newtown? Yeah, Accra Newtown. Oh, that's experimental. A&T. Experimental. Yeah, experimental. A&T. A&T. Oh, I know. That, I think my stepmother taught there some time back. That's a very, very long, a long time, time ago. Time I think some of my siblings even attended there oh, at some wow, point. Oh, wow. That's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I was living in Kutubabi, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. A hood boy. A hood boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not easy. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. So, from um, A&T Experimental... Uh, yes. Where, where, where did you proceed to? I proceeded to Infant Film School. The oh, only school. The day. day. It's important. Yes, it's school, just school, important. Yeah. It is important. Very important. It is Very important. necessary. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, that means yourself, Obo, Kokoveli, e, Van Vika, Majid Michel, George Quay. Many, yes. Uh, uh, the school's got stars, man. Yes, what yes, are you talking yes. about? Ah, so what did you study in Fansburg? I, I, I studied general art. Okay. Yes. W- which combination? Um, economics, elective maths, geography, and history. Ha, guy with here. Who is fancy film there? The only school. That's yes. very important. The oh, only that's school. interesting. So what were you doing while in... Because I know Fancy Film School, for instance, has a lot of clubs and societies, yes. a lot of entertainment activities. Were you playing any active role in the entertainment while in school? Yes, yes. Um, I joined um, the entertainment committee okay. when I was in my first year interesting. in school. So... And before I got to the third year, they gave me the president of entertainment. So I, I became the entertainment committee president. Interesting. Yes. Oh, that that so we have something yeah. in common. Yeah. Because yeah. I was entertainment. Oh president. wow, wow, yeah, wow! Yeah, yeah. Back in the day. And that's that's cool. You know, yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's very cool. Okay. I, I played the role of being entertainment president. Then they really enjoyed entertainment. Oh yes. Yes, they really enjoyed. So it. were you doing this music thing back in Fanson School? Were you performing, rapping? Oh yeah, I, I performed. I even. But artists to the school. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, Sarkodie came there about two times. Oh, interesting. Um, Obrafo came, Raquel. Oh, they, they, they really enjoyed entertainment. You oh, know? Okay, okay, that's I very cool. I wanted some artists came through to support the entertainment, and it was cool. You know, competitions here and there. And they really enjoyed it. Interesting. Yeah. So let us assume that Awa was not going to do music. What would Awa be? Okay, Awa, Awa would be a, a businessman. What kind of business? Yes. Business yeah, is yeah, very business broad. In the, yes, broad. In the doors will be mm. uh, very confidential, but <laughs> <laughs> businessman. You like you say, business? A French film student, the way mobile, definitely, you, you are not you, stick to one thing. Exactly. So you'd have been into a lot yes. of things that bring yes, businesses yes, together. Yes. Let us speak about family. How many siblings do you have? I have four siblings. Okay. Yeah, four siblings. And I happen to be the first son of 
Okay. My parents. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Any any girls among your siblings? Yeah, one girl. One girl. Yeah, she's three the last, boys. Yes. The wow. last born. Wow. What are their names? Let's give them shouts. What are their names? <laughs> <laughs> um um the second born is Jibril. Okay. The third is um Ibrahim and the last born is Nasira. Nasira, yes, Nasira. Ibrahim, Jibril and Awal. Yes. So yes. Nasira Muhammad, <laughs> uh, Ibrahim Muhammad, yes, then, Jibril Muhammad yes. and Awal Muhammad. Yes. Mr. and Mrs. Muhammad. Yes. You do big so. Up, big hey. up. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. Yeah, interesting, yeah. interesting. I was listening to you on Hits FM with Andy Dosti yesterday morning, and yeah. I picked up something that you said that I thought was quite interesting about MTN hit maker. Yes, you know, yes. um, that you said you thought they should broaden their prize base, you know, at least give something to the runners up as well. Yes, yes. Why do you think so? Because, I mean, all over the world, it's winner takes all. American idols, um, 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 America's got talent, uh, you name it. All of them is just a winner. No, I think it's it's quite important for them to prize the um, first runner up and the second runner up as well because oh. they they all worked hard to be there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's not easy to be part of such competition for about nine weeks. You know, back to back, and get to that level with your talent. At least they, they have to give a prize for 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 them to also kickstart their career with it because I think it it will really help. Not necessarily say yeah, she will be dear, 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 dear. And I think I made, I made a statement that me, 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 I made a reality shows are me, 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 a Ghana based because this is a Ghana based um, reality show, but it's it's for the world as well. But it's a Ghana based reality show, you know. This is these are the things they have to do to make sure, say, you know, next time if someone is also coming with the mindset of winning, what if you don't win? Yeah, it's at least if you don't win, you have something to take home or you have an opportunity to to ride on but yeah but your prize in book crap on mm. some some deal to at least help you yeah stand on your on your on your cell but uh, what you say to those who also opine strongly that look all through the competition they've given you opportunities to win things you didn't did you win a mobile phone at some point in the competition? Yes, that's Did that's you win credits time. and stuff? Yeah, that's when I won. The and have they given you a lot of exposure? You know, have people seen you and all yes, that? Yes. But isn't that something? Isn't it's it worth something. it? So I made a statement that you yeah. would have the exposure, all right. Yeah. But what if you have the exposure and you go home and no one, okay, no label comes out to hold you down. But no label is holding a wall down just yet, but a wall is still making it. A wall is already in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What of those who are, who, who, who who don't have who, that opportunity? Yes, we didn't have that opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, you see, yeah. so I made that statement that if you don't have the opportunity, you will you will suffer mm -hmm. because it will be very difficult for you to get yourself out there. I may I used Kwame Eugene as an example, and can you reach in a soul anymore and Kwaka them because <laughs> yes, because no one knew Kwame Eugene unless MTN Hitmaker came. No, say, say that again, say that and again, them, and you reach in a soul man, and Kwaka them, and uh, Kayan <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and and it's true, you see. So we have to really do something about it. You Is see, it really not, difficult not, to make it in the music industry on your own? Yes, very difficult. Very, very, very difficult, you know. Because you, you really need a helping hand and some stepping stones to just get out there. Mm. You don't have a label. You you really find it very difficult to... Put your stuff so together. so how is Awal doing it? How are you paying for your stuff? How are you moving from studio to studio and all those things? Yes, I'm paying for my stuff through the hard work I'm doing. You know, I've been able to release some songs out there and have some one or two people finding some shows and stuff okay. for me to play. Mm. So I think that is really helping me. It's not that big, but the little I have, I use that to support my petty petty stuff okay, musically. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is really helping me. And the team I've got, you see, I'm not under a label, but I have a team that is helping me through this journey. The winner yeah. of Hitmaker last season, um, Ovi, she also dropped a single yesterday. Are you aware? Yeah, I'm aware. Have I'm you aware. heard it? I've not really listened to it. But have you heard it? I've not heard it yet. You haven't heard the yes, song? I've not heard okay, it yet. Okay, okay. So what do you think? Well, I mean, what was the plan? Did both of you, I mean, you were a runner-up. She was the winner. Yes. Did you deliberately decide to spoil her party by releasing your single the same day? Oh, no, no, no I don't think so, you know. Because that's we, what we, I heard, we, that you <laughs> decided to show Ghana that I should have won. That's why you want to release the same day to sort of spoil her party. Oh, no, not like that. I wouldn't say, Bibiano, me, 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 me,
and I made me plans that that mm-hmm. you understand. And just say, be on no release on that day now. Anything I miss me release on that day. You 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 could take it as it is, but that's that's part of my plans. Do you think you should have won Hitmaker instead of her? Well, I think I should have won. Yeah. So because I really I really worked hard and I deserved it. But who didn't work hard? Didn't she work hard? She worked hard. She she tried. She tried her best. But I deserved it. Didn't Ezatma work hard? I can't speak for them. Didn't Amachi the rapper work hard? <laughs> they all did well. Why shouldn't it have been any of them but you? Because when you when you watch how it all started, from the beginning to the end, the consistency, the votes, and when you watch it, when you are sitting back and you are watching it, you will see clearly that Awa really deserved it. Who won the most? I hear you had something called was it Golden Moments or um, something for best performance weekly special? You yes. know, who won the most? I, I think Ezra Tamar won twice as well. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, Ezra Tamar. Ezra Tamar won the most. If Ezra Tamar won the most, and you're speaking consistency, then shouldn't it have translated but into Ezra, Ezra Tamar Tama winning the competition? <laughs> but Ezra Tamar wasn't nominated for for about eight weeks. Wasn't nominated for, for best performer. Okay. I was part of the best performer for about eight weeks. So you consistency. So you got the most nominations. Yes, most nominations. Okay. And I had the the best voter for about eight weeks. Mm-hmm. I I won the best voter for about eight weeks consistently. Yes. That's that's and something good. So so the votes are there. Like each and every week. The best voter goes for a while. Yeah. And each and every week, a while is being nominated for. The best performer to be part of the best performer you see so, so when you are looking at these things you will know that no the boy really deserved it well but at the end of the day I, I i i went on that platform to sell myself to learn from that platform it's not necessarily for the win do you feel cheated well i don't i don't really feel cheated in any way because i feel it's a competition and definitely there has to be a one winner at the end of the day and we are all winners because to be part of the final four you're a potential winner are you hurt I'm, I'm not hurt i'm not hurt at all i'm not hurt at all because it has really given me that exposure it has really made people know who the new awal is is that why you decided to come out same day the winner decided to release a single <laughs> so that you can show the world that i should have won i am the real guy is that why you did that oh you will say it as it is but i think was it that's de- not was that's it deliberate not, that, that, it wasn't deliberate so you, d- you, you know, didn't know she was it's coming healthy, out it's healthy first. for the competition i mm. think me releasing the same day with ov is not a, it's, it's, it's not a big deal because it's a comp- it, i'm not in competition with ov okay yeah i'm doing something else and she's also doing her thing so releasing on the first day that's I don't think it's We've been speaking about releasing, releasing, releasing. I think it's about time we let listeners have the song that we're talking about. Yeah, so, sure. listen, for a second, I'm going to get off the mic, make you the presenter, introduce your own track a while as a radio presenter. <laughs> <laughs> it's all yours. All right, all right. This is a new single from the Ghana's youngest talented youth who is about to take Ghana to the world and also set the music industry ablaze. He dropped Yenda on the first February. This is a new banger. This is a massive fire. You're not ready for this. So yo, DJ, drop it. Oh, let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hey, Awa, don't try read you at all. <laughs> <laughs> DJ, let's drop the track. <laughs> Yeah, in a 
Say from the petty way, control back, where can no play? Make them draw you for Jawule, call the queens when them can't see See ha, you won't need sex, who be the girl if you will be so gay? Pass him in pass on a weed a share, now heavenly one don't be here, and T won't be penny, who be done, I go be so debia, now go be penny, I can't be here, my way in the hot, you never be so called Tomoja, eh, 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 Yanda mo bi ya debi, yanda mo bi ya debi, obi ni betu ni bafu. Yanda mo bi ya debi, yanda mo bi ya debi, yanda mo bi ya debi, obi ni betu ni bafu. Anke vya si mo bi shobi, ma wo bi surechi, katra yebedi, chobi ma dimbo yobi eh, ya ube yebi ya ni pa beka, inti na ya de katoka. Nsuye ne fatupa Ote matuola She Brahma yanka wom Na tofu ke siye la yi wom wo Ade ye de wo tom Arasta fu wo wo krom Yenda mo bi ya debi Ah Yenda mo bi ya debi Yenda mo bi ya debi Obi di betu ni bafo Yenda mo bi ya debi Yenda mo bi ya debi Yenda mo bi ya debi Obi di betu ni bafo Yaba no na ye ye yaba Ah, yabro yabro dada She, yebe ye dede Yebe ye dede Alliance, you fading Tiri wa Alliance, you fading Wow, that's a new one from A-W-A-L Wow, yen na What alliance? Alliance is a movement Which movement is that? Alliance France <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 Alliance France This is a wild movement, you know Alliance movement is not like um, You know, a click thing Oh, so you, right. your followers are Alliance? Yes Oh, okay, yeah, but where from that too? Alliance Alliance yeah, And yeah, you made alliance. it Alliance Yes, yes. Oh, Alliance okay. you, always, uh, you can say Alliance or Alliance mm. Sounds the same So they are so, the aliens They are the many fans They are the yes. suck natives They are the bim natives yes, They are the, they are the, uh, the movements. SM movements and then alliance. Alliance, yes. Ah, I see. Uh, how about Pata Pass fans? Uh, what do they call them? Um, uh, Pato Pass soldiers. Pato Pass soldiers. Yeah. I like that one. <laughs> Pato Pass soldiers. I like that one. Pato Pass soldiers. Pa. So, who are our top five rappers in GH? Oh, in GH, I'll choose um, Sarko Dier. Get closer to your microphone. In GH, I'll choose Sarko Dier. Mm -hmm. Manifest. Um, after manifest, is, is it in order or just randomly? You're mentioning them just randomly, no, or in my, order? My, my, my five, yeah, okay. My five, yeah, my opinion. who is the best at the top? Sarkodia yeah, is the best, okay. And then followed by, followed by, I'll choose manifest, and then then I'll go, to, I'll go for EL, mm -hmm. and after EL, I'll go for um, this guy, medical, A yeah, medical, A yes, AMG. yes, AMG. I'll go after medical, I go for my senior man. Should I mention it? Oh, go ahead and mention the <laughs> name. <laughs> if you have a kana, I want for the enemy. Oh, no, no. Say, I know you're a war That's your personal opinion. I mean, it's your top five. Nobody can fight with you over your top five. Yeah, I feel like Quata is also. Quata is yeah, also a legend yeah, in there. Quata. Yeah. Quata is good yeah, for you. Quata right. is good for me. Mm. Yeah. Some will be surprised that you didn't mention a name like Obrafo. Obrafo, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. They are keeping the game alive. Alive. Mm. So Obrafo is a pioneer. Okay. He's a senior man. You see. How about Rockstone? Yes. Mm -hmm. the Rockstone is even hip hip life. Mm -hmm. You yeah. see. Yeah. They are they are pioneers. Okay. So you need to. So give you them that, that respect. Yes, so that's that, why they that are not in, in your list. But those who are keeping the game alive, I think. But I'm surprised you didn't mention yourself. So me no. Me na me. Who is a world top five? Okay. Fine. Mm. <laughs> 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 so I hear you guys go way back. Yeah, way back, way, way back. Mm. On the so. interview, I heard you said you used to live together in some oh, house yeah, yeah, and all yeah, that. Yes. You know, he helped with your education a little yes. bit and all those things. Yes. That's great. So yes, when are you guys sir. dropping a track? Yeah, very soon. I've sent him my... my my ver my verse okay so he, he has to do his mm. then we, we find a day and release it so very soon we, we will drop it 
Very soon, very soon. Just watch out. This year, it will come. If you are to feature Shatawali or Stone Boy on a track, which of them would you choose? I will go for Stone Boy. Why? I feel the kind of music I would like to do, the kind of genre, like the kind of music I would like to do, will be for Stone Boy. Are you afraid of working with Shatter? Oh, not really. Not not like that. I would like to work with Shatter as well. Mm -hmm. But here's the case. I have to choose one. Yeah. Yes, they are all good. But I would like to feature Stone Boy first. Because already crime on Yumbi or what? But try no no me train say me blue. Nah, better not to so. Blue. Blue. Because then at the corners, you see how they. Yeah, yeah. Me linki up ebe me corner bra corner bra. Why? Why? Is it difficult getting these big acts to collaborate with upcoming and young acts like yourself? Oh yeah. Why? Because you, you when you don't take. When you don't have what it takes, you don't have the necessary mechanisms to link that artist and get him on board, it's quite difficult. Mm -hmm. Yes, to get that artist working with, it will be very difficult. So, I think that Ninina Kahuntina, you are talking on. You say, Yeah, no, yeah, then you climb a mountain, Nunti. It may drew peak now. Now, yes, you know, my Ronnie. But sometimes I say, You don't really need somebody to blow. You need yourself. Yourself. Yes, you need yourself. Yeah. All you have to do is the creative works. Okay. That's the most important thing. Say, oh, yeah, you want to know you're creative. Now, you can feature Jay-Z in Pua. You can feature one week. You can feature There are rumors that um, uh, at some point, Sarkodio withdrew from you a little bit because he thought you were arrogant. Is it true? It's not true. Okay. Yeah, it's not Was true. Was there any conflict, any problem between you two? I've never had a single problem with Sarkodio. Okay. Never. Okay. We've been we've been so cool. We come home with fear. Oh, ya kasa ya din komo. Oh, so ne jollo funi me di biya. And ti ba unze Ghana funi senior omo kasa because ah well you speak Ojao. fine. You speak fine English. Let's keep it English. This this is okay fine. Yeah, you know Ghanians yeah, know how to. We can arrange an interview for you on Adume <laughs> FM. <laughs> Ghanians know how to you know twist words like stories and news like a bar. You just have to sit back and watch. We go way back. We have the problem. You know, we are like that, like father and son. That relationship is there mm -hmm. from from way back, and nothing has happened to it. Okay. And you know, we have to say that that very very mutual. And now, obinsu, a person or or boawa. Sometimes, you know, or ma. If you comfort zone, mo. very true. Yes, sometimes getting out of your comfort zone is is the best to learn. It's yeah. the best way to learn. And I don't think that me not working with Sarkodie for past years now or for some yeah. time now, no, means we, we are not like that or we are not on that end. What I say, it, it it's really helping me stand on my own. Okay. You know, really learn and put things together myself because you're not supposed to depend on Sarkodie. Even Kapo, yeah, you yeah. Sometimes it's me recording you be as a trauma. What you say? And I feel say you know when you you feel it's, it's it's a negative vibe, but when you look at the other way as well, it brings some positives positivity as well. You know, I think say me getting out of that comfort zone, say, oh at a clan only sa code the hobby is not with sack no more. I'm at the adversity. I've really faced that adversity and I'm I'm going through it and it's it's really shaping me. So music wise my my, 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 my pen and the way I used to think now is different it's from brought out more yes, creativity. More you. creativity. What annoys you the most in the industry? <laughs> hey, what's well, no no? Oh, it's just, a, oh hey. Hey, it's just a friendly question. Free your mind, Masa. Hey. I mean, this is Joy, 99.7 FM. Discerning people are listening. For you know, your word might inspire someone to cause a change in this industry. So just feel free. Let's speak the truth. What annoys you the most in this industry? Well, use your microphone, I will. <laughs> I'll come, I'll come and answer that. Let's, 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 let's proceed. I'll answer oh, wow. that. I'll answer that. Oh, wow. I'll answer that. Don't worry. Oh, I wow. oh, answer. Answer. Yes, I mean, we, we can stay there for a bit because, um, I mean, I have mine. I have mine. 
uh, you know, uh, for me, I think there's a lot of hypocrisy in the industry, <laughs> and it annoys me. You know, um, uh, yeah, I don't know what it is for you. Naturally, I will say BBO, you know what I mean. You're yeah, human, yeah, yeah. you know. Unless, of course, you're telling me you haven't really followed the industry. You haven't seen trends. You haven't I've, I've, had I've, people I've, criticize artists for nothing. You haven't had people speak about and wonder why this lyrics is like this and like that. You I, haven't, feel, I feel it's, it's, it's part of the game, you know. Critics, so, critics, nay, sir. Those kind of things there. It's part of the game. So, fine. Yours is hypocrisy. So, I what also, is yours? I, no, listen. I also have <laughs> mine in, in mind. But I think that mine is also in line with what you just said. Oh, masaj, masaj, masaj. oh no. I it's in line. line. I'm not saying it's hypocrisy. So, what is yours? Which one line. is yours? It's in line with what Which you just said. Which one is yours? So, you know. Someone told me you once complained that you feel oh, Selfi- selfishness. Yes, yeah, selfishness. Mm-hmm. Because you feel that. Bibiano, Minkum, Unku, like Unkwana, Unkwana, Obedi, Unkundi, Unkundi, Ten. That is really pulling us back. Unkundi, no, it's really pulling us back. And I've seen some. Uh-huh. I've followed the artist. Uh-huh. I've seen some, you know, beefs here and there. You know, a whole lot of things are annoying. And when the elephant fights, the ground surface. In the air, bano, say any ever so far. In the no. Yes, you have found what I have yet to keep plans. Is it? Do you feel mm. say, some of the you know uh, the, uh, big acts in the industry don't reach out to help people like you? Yes. Yes. Have any of them ever turned you down? Yes. Like oh. like who? Many. Like who? Many. Now you know, it's 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 not just necessary to mention names, but I feel the seniors out there because I've I've been in the game for about nine ten years now yeah. since I, I got discovered and i've since then i was in the game before even some of these senior artists blew up mm-hmm. you see and i've i've gone to them for help and oh oh you better link it we go link up send me you send them you go read you know go mind you you see so all these things what are you trying to depict it's selfishness helping someone it's part of the game. It's part of humanity. But when you put such selfishness in you, it breeds more hatred. A man is not crap, you know, and you can't say, you hate you, because if you say, when you are there, you can say, you can't 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 you're and tuned in to Joy 99.7 FM is Showbiz A to Z. We're talking to a wow, and he is spitting like fire. Uh, by the way, if you don't know, he has a new single out, dropped it yesterday. It's called Yenda We Ain't Sleeping. DJ Ubeta dropped it a while back, and we'll drop it again before we end the conversation. How are you struggling? Yes. How are you struggling financially, emotionally, yes. physically, creatively? I'm, 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 I'm struggling financially, and I think... We we didn't get enough camp, but enough. Enough. I had them. Give me no more. I had them. Because when we need me from way back, I walk. Get 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 No. Yeah. We've been in that adversity like to to this level. So the struggle is real. The struggle is really real because you know when you don't have a management, you don't have a management working with. You are doing stuff by your by your own self. It's 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 quite difficult. So now my challenge I'm having right now is, you know, not having a label, a record label to, you know, sign me on, put me on, let's get the work moving, you see. But rather, you're doing your own things, struggling to studios from studios, jumping from here to here, trying to release singles. To me, release, it release here in fact, but we, we hope, say, one day, yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting yes. one. Yes. That's an that, interesting that's, one. That's the greatest challenge. So we are really praying hard, say our work, our good work should be head out there. But if someone right. came to pr- the help a while, it's a while ready. Because yes. I would give you and I always give this example. Many years ago I met a certain studio engineer. Yes. Um, I went to his studio to record adverts, just adverts for various brands and even for the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards and other events. 
And um, every time you'd go, the guy would go like, oh, Charlie, make you listen to this thing and tell me what you think. But he played. But he played. One day, he opened his laptop and I saw over 200 songs. I'm not exaggerating. Over 200 songs. Unreleased. And he also spoke the same way you speak. But you see, at that point, he was ready. He had the songs. He had the material to go. Some, And then he had some book. When you open the book, you see plenty. Today, he's EL. He was ready. Yeah. If somebody came, if today Sadiq Abdullah Abu said, look, I have some money. Awal, I want to put you under my wing. I want to make sure you're... Is Awal ready? Yes, Awal is ready. Awal has been ready since about five, six years ago. I've been ready since. I have stood, I have works in my archives, unreleased works. Mm-hmm. Yes. How many? I can't, I can't, I can't. You can't count. Yes, I can't count. But I have, I have songs, and I have some that I've not recorded. Mm-hmm. I have songs that I've not recorded, songs that I've not completed. Are there some people that you probably played a track to, and later on you've had something similar, and you feel they stole your work? Has it happened to you yet? Because I hear it happens to you, upcoming act a lot. No, I don't. I don't. I don't play my songs to people like that. Mm-hmm. Yes, okay. I don't play my songs to people like like that. that. We've also been joined by Sadiq Abdullah Abu, CEO, Three Music Awards, uh, 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 Communications Director, Three Music Awards, <laughs> yeah, Event yeah, Producer, yeah, Three yeah, Music yeah, Awards, Event Manager, Three Music <laughs> Awards, Board Chairman, Three Music yeah. Awards, um, 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 what else? <laughs> Founder, Three Music Awards, <laughs> Chief Protocol Officer, Three Music Awards. Hey, uh, you be done. Founder, there is Nkrumah and Jamie Dan Quartes. you be done. You do all. Founder, is Nkrumah and Jamie Dan Quartes. We're about to wrap it up with um, a while, and um, you know, I don't know if you've heard the sound. Have you? Yes, I, yeah, I heard you've it. You've heard the song. Coming, yeah. what, what's your take on it? I think it's a good, uh, fantastic hip life song. Yeah. You know, initially I was thinking, ah, well, this guy, I don't see the rap. Wow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But then I think that's a, a different version of all the songs that we've had him on so far. And so this is good. Yes, this is good. Um, so, um, oh, wow. we're about to wrap it up. I yeah, don't know sure. if you have um, any word for the fans out there. How can they get the song? How can they follow? And um, what else should they expect from this young cat who's about to blow big? Yeah. Um, first of all, um, you can follow my social media um, pages on Instagram. It's Awal is on it. On Twitter, Awal underscore GH. And Facebook is Awal Mohammed. Oh, wow, you, can, you can follow and also download um, the song on your favorite site. It's everywhere now. Mm-hmm. The song is, is trending. Yeah, yeah, you put it's, it on banging. SoundCloud. Eh? Yes, it's, it's on, on SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Just check it out on your favorite music site. Music sites and then you get it. Okay. Yeah, we'll What's the title again? iTunes and it's Yenda. Yenda. We're not what? sleeping. What better? We're not go to bed. Let's do Yenda again and say thank you to Awal. Hey, interesting. Some message came. Somebody said, George, please ask Awal. Uh, let me see. Ask Awal if he has a girlfriend. Oh, yeah, I get girlfriend. You have a girlfriend? Yeah. What, what's her name? Oh. It's confidential. Awal, I'm about legal. I'm about legal. I am. Oh, no, yes, you're not a small boy. Oh, Debbie, you're not a minor. Because you see the problem is that Yenda is a minor. 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 Yenda is Mm. <laughs> How old are you though? I'm 23. Oh, you're a full grown adult. Maybe mm. a by this time. You have your own farm. You are a full man. You've married like three already. 23. 23, yeah. So, how old are you when you did the TV3? Uh, oh, well, well, 13. 10 years ago. How long was it? That's 10 13. years ago. Yes. Ah, That's 10 years ago. What is it Technically, you were still a virgin at the time, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was then. That was then, like. 10 but years. we can't say the same today. Oh, we can't say. Awal Muhammad, DJ Red, let's hear the sound. Uh, Awal, yes. thanks so very much for coming. Uh, it's welcome, an, it's, an, it's 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 you're been welcome. great spending, um, you know, this um, early part of my afternoon with you, yeah, sure. and um, would wish you the very best. You, you know, the multimedia family is your family. Sure. Uh, so far, you you realize. Um, 
you've had a chat on Hits FM, you are just having a chat on Joy oh, FM. Yeah. Over here, we develop talent. That is why we have a program like Open Mic and all that. Oh, yeah, so yeah, um, I, I, I hope... On the open Mic. That's great. Yes. And I sure hope that when you blow big and you become that big star everybody's looking for when multimedia calls you, you will not attend Sure, them. sure, sure. Because any this day, is any time. Any Don't time. forget that you in few. In the beginning, day, day, day. multimedia was with you and they'll be with time, you until the always. end. Always. All right, my brother. Well, Betty, let's hear the sound. Yeah, nah. It's showbiz A to Z. Joy.